Well, the national anthems are through and Benin with a couple of changes for new coach Gernard Rohr. He does have the experience of Setenda. Number of changes for Carlos Alos Ferrer. Ambolenga Fetina coming in, but the biggest one is in goal. Chance for the visitors, but that's a little back heel away, but it doesn't regain possession. Long range effort. It's a bit of luck. And it should have been 1-0. Because the Well, it was a speculative effort, but it bounced off between Tonji. Well, that's a very loose ball from Saturn in Alagbe. Struggling to get first team football at French club Dijon. Lovely ball releasing. And it should be, and it is a goal that has sense to be coming. What a moment for Carlos Eros Ferrer. And the goal scorer, Gilbert Mugisha. Disaster for seeing their captain, Mehdi Kageri, miss a guilt edge chance. 26 year old Gilbert Mugisha had two bites of the cherry, and it tasted oh so sweet on second coming. Initial save from Gilbert Magisha. And a cracking goal. It's a wonderful move. Missing his man up and driving towards goal. He goes down. Oh, Just a nudge into the back. Did brilliantly to break between two. Leaves this one. Jodel Dosu clips it in to a really good area. And the man who won the free kick got the first chance for Benin on top. It was certainly straight at the goalkeeper and at a good height. But he still had to get up quickly. And push it over his bar. Alinvi. Alinvi again. Dijon teammate of Alag Bay. What an effort. Benin won. 13 appearances for Dijon this season. Eight of the last nine. Growing influence in France with the Ligue 2 side. And certainly trying. Looking to just find some space. Breaking through. The shot gobbled up simply in his seven competitive matches. But they're on course for a huge win here on the spin. Certainly to leaving Clermont, a club legend. A chance for Magisha, the goal scorer. It's a really good pick out. And it's off the crossbar from Kevin Muiri. Stunning F side, but he may worry that they're not putting their chances away. Pick out here, too much time, but that is a wonderful curling effort. Really whipped his 50th cap on match day two. It's a really good delivery. Keeper not convincing. The overhead kick. Well, one to strike a goal. Balance from Sabo. It's a ball in behind again. Rwanda in for two, Alagbe with a brilliant save. He was brave. Took the touch with the head and then tried to reach it with his outstretched leg. Somehow coming away with the ball. Alaitan, Tosin, back onto his favourite right. Shimmies, it's deflected I think, but either way from Benin. Tosu somehow smuggling the ball out. And Tosin once. And on the second time. Heck, but the referee not interested. It's not a head knock. Touch inside, he's gone down. 
think looking for it. They play on. The keeper makes the save. Often is the place. Well, he just. If he's looking for a decision for the referee, Jodel Dosu, it's going to be a yellow card for diving. Sean eventually coming in from. Just shielded and left to Alimvi. Now, Dosu! Pushed away. A Benin tapping. Ball poked into Dosu. Got hit back before the half time break. Nice touch from Umarani. It's falling kindly for him. Dosu! Just didn't need to be that tight to Rafael York. And Swedenborn. As we look back at the chance for Dosu. Robbed. And he's come back on his right every time. Swings in a brilliant ball, but not anticipated well enough by Adiote. Kern Rohr keeping his emotions to himself. But just before the halftime whistle. It's a great pick out target, wherever that might have been. Touch from Alin V. Touches it through, surely the equaliser, but it's a fine, fine save. Nedwali keeping Rwanda ahead. Ayagun Tosin trying to just slide a vital save. Long throw. Not the best of headers away. Swing and a miss. And then contact and miss. Benito Tosu. You expect better from him. And then Hassan Emorani. Lots of space. Lovely dummy there from Ishimwe. Oh, the defender off the bench and brings a fine save out of Alagbe. Eventually decided, why not? Great decoy run. Rwanda. Lovely reverse ball. Muiri drives it across. And it just are, and the cheetahs. Will he be able? Spreads it wide. Jodel Dosu. Back to him. Goes down. Dosu. But he's offside. Linking with Dosu. And then he came from an offside position. Now have the chance to deliver. Headed away by Kageri, the captain, but it's kept alive. But it's just dug out of the ground and off target. But the captain with another huge opportunity. Unfortunately, lifted in. Touchdown. Oh, Dosu wanted that. Equaliser from Steve Amunye, and he's brought the Stade de la Mite to life. <laughs> National goal of Steve Amunye. Well, he was hanging around Cessignon and Dosu. And then he's just dragged the ball towards him and into space. And then power has beaten Nidwali, who may 